Hello everyone, my name is Arish Gutella. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer and welcome to my video on the truncate functionality in data management within Dynamics 365. Many of you are probably familiar with data management and its ability to upload and to update data within Dynamics 365. What I'm going to show you today is actually how to replace data and it's a very cool feature that I enjoy. So I'm going to start here in this zip code table. You can see within Canada, I've set up two zip codes. And you'll notice that neither of them have cities. Now, it would be simple enough to simply key those in manually, but let's say you had 10,000s of them. Well, then it wouldn't be so easy, and you may want to do that programmatically. So let's go take a look at how that works. So I'll go within Data Management, and I'll create a new import project called Demo Fix Zip. And you'll notice I already have a file ready. So you can see I have my zip code with the city populated. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add it. Postal codes, there we are. And I'm going to map this. And then I'll go ahead and import. And if I refresh the screen, Right away, you'll notice we have a problem. The created says two, not the updated. And if we go back into our zip codes, go to organization administration, and this exists under, here we are. And if I look down to my zip codes, you'll notice it created two new records. The reason for this, in case you're curious, is because the primary key for this table is a combination of zip, city, state, and country, meaning when I had a different city, rather than doing an update job, it added a upload job, and we have multiple records. So how can we fix this? Let's go back into data management and take a look at something. I'm going to reload that same project. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this truncate entity data checkbox. And now let's watch what happens. So I'm going to reload the same file. And let's import. Same deal. We created two of them. But this time, let's go look at this. You'll notice I only have two of them. What that truncate checkbox does is it actually removes all the data that's in wherever you're loading to based on the entity and then adds what's in your file. This is actually a great approach if you ever need to clean out existing tables, especially for setup data. Let's say you've created a number of payment terms and now you're like, I just want to go down to the final ones. You do have to be careful with this. You can't do this with customers or items, for example, if you already have transactions against them. As with anything, you want to try this in a non-production environment before using it in production. However, given the situation, this is a very cool feature that's available to you in Dynamics 365. I hope you found this video informative. Check out some more of ours on our YouTube channel.